Hey guys, it's Doc and today we're going to talk about pool cleaners and the difference between the two that I had and the one that I have now, Polaris versus this new Pentar. So hold on one sec. Hey guys, I'm just going to spend a little bit of time out here and show you my new pool cleaner that I got and why I bought it. Some comparisons between the old Polaris that I had, which I enjoyed, I liked it, versus this new Pentair Creepy Crawler, I think they call it a racer model. And I'll show you a few features about it, why I bought it, and uh, let's look at it. Hey guys, uh, I'm going to take you over, I'm going to show you my pool with my new cleaner. But before I show you the new cleaner, let me show you the old cleaner, which has been a very reliable, good unit. But I'm going to tell you why I upgraded to this new cleaner. There are new cleaners, a lot of the new cleaners have brushes on them, and I think it's real important. Uh, it's time to play taps. The old Polaris finally gave out. You can see how old it is. You can see the plastic starting to dry rot on it. Got a lot of little rust starting to form. Wheels cracking and rubbing. Um, this little part here stripped out the threads. It rusted out. You can see the, the rust on the threads, but the threads actually almost disappeared. It's just a it's just it's done its life it's been there i'm guessing they've had this in the pool for about eight years or so so uh rather than rebuild this whole thing if i had to rebuild this entire thing because i'd probably need to do all the hoses all the wheels everything i was like i'm just not gonna do that so we're putting that one to rest and what i did is did a whole bunch of research thought i'd pass along my research to you and tell you why i ended up buying the one that i bought ended up talking to my pool guy who has a lot of experience um on these things and he agreed it's a nice unit uh, I did get it on Amazon so I kicked on my pool and like most pools uh, once your system starts you'll have about a two minute delay before your cleaner kicks on so my cleaner just kicked on I did want to show you it climbing this is climbing up the wall Okay, so here's the interesting thing about this unit. It'll go for about two or three minutes in the forward mode, then it kicks into a reverse mode, and it actually kicks into reverse. Um, and I kind of like that feature, because it doesn't, the old, uh, my old unit had that backflow, it sort of sensed when it got stuck, and it would have a backflow on it, it would sort of back it up. But that thing, that thing you have to replace once in a while. This is nice because it just assumes that your unit is going to need some kind of, it's going to hit an obstacle. So it's nice, it kind of just automatically backs up. What I do like is I do like the scrubbing brushes on the front. That's one thing I wanted. Um, I really wanted a more expensive unit with the larger brushes on it, but this one's fine. has a little rubber bristles on it doesn't hurt the vinyl pool at all it's water powered it's not an electric power it's not like a vacuum cleaner um, but it has those bristles on the front hey guys let me go over a couple of the features that I that I really liked about this unit and a couple of reasons why that I chose it excuse the stupid bird in the background uh, this may sound simple but it actually has a, it actually has a handle here that you can lift it out with, which is wonderful. In Polaris, you had to grab it by the hose, but this handle allows you to lift it out of the pool. I wanted to show you the front brush system on it. The front brush system, again, it's driven, it's driven by the wheels. It's very, very soft. It's not, a, it's not abrasive at all. So there's the front brush system. Uh, it has LED lights on it. So there are two, I believe it's two LED lights which is kind of cool. You can see where it is at night. Um, if you have a vinyl pool that has a slope to it from the deep end, they give you these little inserts because these wheels can actually sit there and spin and your unit will actually sort of get stuck on that, that hump sometimes, that incline. So you just insert these on both the wheels. That's an important thing, but at least they understood that, which is nice. And I did want to show you the back of, or excuse me, the bottom side. This is the uh, pickup hole and you can see the pickup hole is rather large. So picks up large leaves, don't have any problem with it. Here are your Venturi jets. Your Venturi jets shoot upward into your bag and create the suction. Uh, 
the literature says it has four venturis, but I gotta be honest, I can only find two. So here's the, the little lift control valve that you can adjust up and around to make it go left and right or up and down more to adjust the, the actual running of the unit, how it performs. Of course, your tail on it. I already talked about that. But I can only see, unless I'm crazy, I can only see two Venturis on this thing. Uh, an easy to release bag. Something I always struggled with was getting my bag off all the time. But the bag, uh, I'll tell you why I like this. The bag, actually, there's one little click on the front. The bag comes off. The other thing I like about this is that the bag is a top empty bag versus a side empty. I hate the side empty bags. But the top empty bag, so your bag opens on the top and then you can dump it out, which is really nice. So I take this off, just give it one click, take it off, dump it out. You can use it with the tail or without the tail, just so you know. Just make sure that the back of it, there is a valve. There is a valve back here. Make sure that your your cleaner is turned on. Okay, let me go to the graveyard here. Let me show you one of the little tip. This oh, this is what the unit comes with. Let me see if I can get it to show up better. It has this sort of uh, rubbery sponge for the tail end of it. And what I found is that every so often, because it has a because it's real grippy feeling, that sometimes the unit, this can actually get sucked up inside of the bag, <laughs> and you'll come out and your unit will just be sitting there, and it's because the tail has been sucked up. And what we thought, we looked at it, we think that because it's grippy, has friction to it, we think that the unit is actually running over it, it's actually running over this. So I actually took, I had a new tail mount for my Polaris, which is this, uh, oh, this horrible example, which is kind of this material here. It's kind of a uh, open mesh type material, lighter. <clears throat> and uh, we put that on the tail versus the rubber. And I have yet to see it, uh, that gets sucked up in it yet. So good tip there, very good tip there. Uh, you can get those little tips for like two bucks. But I replaced that tail tip with that open, very much open Polaris tail tip. It's a little bit lighter and it seems like the unit doesn't want to run over it. Of course, this is a, uh, this is not a suction driven. This is actually powered by an outlet, one of your power jets. So it's an outflow. And yes, I do have a booster pump on my pool. So there are lots of adjustments you can do to this thing. Now it's in a backup mode. And it's gonna do a little wheelie because I have it pointed down. Because I have it pointed down more, when it backs up, it's gonna do a little wheelie, which is fine with me. There it is going over my main drain without a problem. I think that's a question a lot of people have. Will it get stuck on my drain? I've never had it get stuck on any of my drains. Does it climb the sides? It does an okay job. It'll climb about halfway up on the deep end. On the shallow end, it'll come up about 75% of the way. And typically, there it is in the deep end. Get the, but the brushes really don't spin that fast. The brushes spin the same speed as the wheel. So it's not like it's not like you're gonna have a whole bunch of agitation or wear on your vinyl. I just wanted to have a brush cleaner. Because I get tired of having to brush my pool liner. As far as the hoses go, you have three you have three sections of hose. You have a light hose. This is a light hose. The light hose equals the depth of your swimming pool. You trim it to the depth of your swimming pool. There are two sections of dark hoses. The two sections of dark hoses, basically you take the entire hose length and you go from your connector to your farthest point and they say make it even. 
everyone else says make it six inches past and what you do is you cut the one and two sections you split the difference between the two anyways it's on the instructions pretty easy. as far as the pool fitting itself i actually really like this fitting um, all you do is let me get it out of here first everything all these connectors once you put it on and turn it then you pull it back out and it sort of locks into place so all I did was I took out my old fitting they'll send you this new fitting one and a half inch fitting you screw that in just take this plug put it in twist it and then pull it out it's locked into place um, really happy with this unit I've had it going about two weeks uh, Mine had broken down for about uh, a week and a half, about a week. So I had a bunch of leaves on the bottom that cleaned the entire pool, probably within about two hours. It's pretty nice, but I really like the little features on this thing. Again, it's a nice looking little unit. Uh, again, this is blue and gray. My other one was white. I actually kind of like it. Hey, just throw it in, let it sink, let it do its job. Nothing much to it. <clears throat> really a hassle-free little system. Anyways, guys, hope this video helped about your pool cleaner choices. Doc, how you do it? Thanks. Yeah.